Hello YouTube, we're back with another video and today as you can see we've got the cooler work shifter and that's going on the Fiesta so let's take a good look into it Alright so this is it Cooler Works short shifter now unique features about this I'll quickly go through them before we fit there 40% less throw and obviously a much bigger lever so that is up then nice and close to the steering wheel when you shift in and it is a magnificent bit of kit so the other good thing is it reuses the original Ford cables and they just clip onto the levers around there in essence it should be quite easy to fit just bolt it down there attach the cables there pop them on we gotta then set a reverse lockout a couple of pins on there so that shouldn't be too difficult but the difficulty is we're not in the stripped out car we've got full interior so we're gonna look at the car now and then work out how we're gonna get this booty in right so as you can see I have interior one bucket seat though oh, that's a lovely seat that is right I've had a little look to see where they're removing this area of the trim just from the gear stick will allow us to drop it in. I'm not really sure, so what I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to go full hog, pull the seat out, pull the centre console out, and just do it like that. Um, make it easy, start the finish. If I get through the job and then I realise, well, you didn't have to do all this and ask for your benefit, but for the purpose of this video, I think, strip them all out and then we know exactly where we are. Right, so with that out of the way, now we got some room to get the centre console out. I have taken all this off before, but it's been a while, I can't remember what sequence each part comes out in, whether this be come off before that. Fiddle with them, we'll soon know now. I can't remember how this, if this just poppers on here. It's been a while. So, sorry about that. Ah, tidy. So that's all that bit room for us. Right, so we're going to start taking all this trim off. Now this is easy, you probably know that. Just, just pull that and it clips up. Right, so this clips out here, comes away from there. From what I can remember, it's a bit of a faff up and there. Um, but we'll give that a go now and see how it goes. See around the wind there? Let me know if we can't, okay? Just shout. I'm swapping cameras at the moment. <coughs> I usually film on a GoPro, which is what you're looking at now. And that was flat, so I've been using my phone. I've just switched back to the GoPro now. There's a few issues with the phone. Is the autofocus, it focuses on other things than what you're trying to look at. And also it's got a very close in um, zoom. So you've got to have the camera far away from things, whereas with the GoPro you can get right up, right up on it. It's easier for placing the camera. So yeah, that clips out. Uh, I can't remember if we got to get this bit out. Ah, I really should pay attention when I do these jobs before. I think we've got to pop this out and then that comes out. I hope we can see what I'm doing. I know some of you will say in other videos you need to get some trim removal tools and I keep thinking all the time, yep, yeah, you're right, I do. But I never get around to ordering any. So, I think this is poppy doodle. You see the top bit has popped. Oh, there you are. If at first you don't succeed, just pull out there, right? There you go. Right, undo your plugs on the back, obviously. There you are, so then just wiggle them over. And it's a lot easier to do when you've got a spare hand get the idea right now what we're we looking at then peeps right this next bit's got to pop off from memory it should just I think it just clips and lifts up I think there's some screws behind there then 
give it a little old tug or all. Just remember the old uh, saying, if at first you don't succeed, pull harder. It works for me every time. Right, I'm going to pull you down before it breaks. Come on. There you go. Right. So now you can see we've got a torx bit there and there. And that should free up the centre console then. Right, so you've got a plug down by there. Undo him from memory. There's one down here. Yeah, this wire is obviously going into there. Right. Right, so this is what we've got. A lot more room, as you see. Now we can work tidy. What I want to do now is pop the cables off first. Right, so this one should be a poppy doodle, I think. There you are. Here's a little. Uh, 13 mil spanner, so under that one. Some of them said they can have a push button on the top in some cars, but this one I haven't. So that's a poppy doodle. So, what we're going to do now is get these off. Sometimes these can be twist screw ones, I'm not sure if this is, or it's just a case of pull and pop out, I think. Is it a spring loaded one? Or? There you are, that's him. Now we've got him, so pull this bit back and then out he comes. That's even easier. I'm glad I spotted that. Let's see if this one's the same. Yeah, it looks like the other side is the same. It's probably a special tool for this. Oh, you are. There he goes. That's him. Both of them are out now. Right. So now it should be a simple case of the four bolts. They look like 10 mils, so 4 10 mils. I think that's it, it should pop out. Right. There's one. There's two. There's three. If you went to school and done your maths, you know that's five. Oops. What's your four? Right, so does that just pull out? Should do, shouldn't it? Should just come up. Catching on a little bit of the loom. Cover the... Remember the motto, if a first it doesn't succeed, pull harder. Right, let's pull that down. Right, so now it's just a case of going to get the cooler works. Pop him in, and we won't be long and we'll be making choo choo noises. Oh, that is gonna look immense when it's in. I'm just locking now, checking we can reuse the same nuts. The base of that is a bit thicker, nice thin base. So, uh, looking at that, the nuts are gonna go much further down the shaft than what they used to. So, there you are, threaded all the way down. So, that won't be a problem. And clean out your dirty minds, I know what you're thinking. Right, so with the cable holders on the cooler works, we're gonna unscrew these off and then thread them cables through. Right, so I guess now we can look to maneuver that into place and feed the cables through the holes. Like so. Is my head in the way? Sorry about that. Right, there you are. Cables now. Right, so I've got the one cable there in position. Now, it does need to be pushed back. So what I've done is a bit of a kink in it there and then I managed to sort of get it to drop down into that hole so there it goes right hopefully you saw how I done that uh, let's move it get your wiggle on right so you get him in 
and then it needs to drop down lower so I just took the screwdriver put it against the bolt and then just ease the cap back to allow it to drop right down into position so hopefully now this should go and fit into place put that on there get my hand on you does it line up just needs to come down a touch more for the bolt to go in give him a nice push oh are we there are we there I think we're close we're close I think we got him boys we got him boys and girls don't forget to include the girls right so that's the first one all done I bolted him up nice and tight just gonna do the second one now so this is the biggest challenge is pushing the cables back because they're so stiff they don't actually want want to bend no don't go back whatever you do there you go right so we're gonna try and start to drop him now there you go all right I saw both of them cables nicely in there it's just a case of popping the shifters now onto the balls and that one's nearly there to line up so we shall hopefully pop them on nice and easy well, that one went on sweet and easy and that one just went on very easy right so i've just been doing the limiter screws there i'm going to talk to you about them once we get everything set up at the end what i'm going to do now is get the center console back in um most of it you've seen how it comes out so you don't need to watch us so let's just get that in and we'll be straight back in a second okay so center console is mostly in and i'm just looking at something now if you can see here um this is just catching on the plastic trim there as we shift sideways it's, it's hardly anything so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a little axaw blade and i'm just gonna trim a touch off the corner of that you know, pick out of the way give it a blow <laughs> clean the bits off there you go that should be fine uh, right, so next thing I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to get this panel on down here, get that on, and then we'll be. I think I'll put the seat in so I can get a good feel for everything, and then we start doing the trim, setting the limit, the screws, etc. Seat is in, rest of the center console bits are on down the bottom there. Now we just got the top trim to do. I also took off the uh, Puma Speed short shift that I had on. Uh, don't be tempted to run both because it just won't work now with that off feels really good like when i had the that short shifter on as well you just couldn't find neutral it was such a short throw it would blow through neutral and it was very tricky but that feels lovely but more of that in a minute what we're going to do now is get these trim pieces back on and then we are good to go Right, so that's the chrome surround. I think that should go on no problem. Oh, there you are, that finishes her off. A little bit nicer. Like I say I'm not interested in the gear there. No, uh, oh, a slight catch on the bottom of that plastic trim actually with the knuckle. So you can just see a little bit of the chrome there, so it's a little tab stick out sticking out here I'll just take a little touch off that right so I've taken a little corner off that you can see now it's not hitting now right so next thing we're going to do now is I'm going to talk you through these screws and how you set the limits right so if you can see what I've done you've got um, let me show you you've got this you look in the pack you'll see this one 
goes through there and then a little grub screw on the top it goes down on that and then just the nut and the allen bolt through there same through there and what you're doing is when when you're moving across well we start with first gear so for first gear what i did was like these have got to be tightened so they're not tightened so get across find first gear chuck him in and then you're adjusting this one here with the allen so as you can see i'm a little bit off the shaft there but that just gives you that little play so when you're in neutral right across to the stops go forward go straight into first so when you've got that in the right place like i'm going to tighten that down in a minute then what you're looking at obviously next over from first you know it's reverse so it's this second grub screw that controls your reverse and touching that shaft so as you go across pull the lever up so can you see what's happening so the shift bolt comes out and then you're controlled then by the other little grub screw so what i did to do that is that the same i found reverse and then set that leaving you a little bit of extra play because you don't want to make it bang tight when you're in the gear because obviously you won't go in you want a little bit of extra couple of mil after it's in so then you're looking at your fifth and six so same again bring them right over to fifth push forward and let's see we got that tiny little bit of play again now what i've noticed is great like i say i've still got to tighten them so don't worry about that with this is first it's just easy straight over you're in and there's such a strong um recoil spring to the neutral position that like for third it's just just push forward don't put any sideways momentum because it all it automatically wants to just center itself to the third fourth position so that should be pretty good for people who want to do a bit of a track dra driving drag racing bah, bah. I'd actually like to try this on the drag strip, but I just don't know how it would work with my three and a half degrees of camber on the front. But there you are. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pack away my tools and tighten them screws up. To be honest, I'd put some Loctite on them as well. So do that just to make sure they don't back off. And we're going to get the car ready and we're going to go have a test drive and then see how it feels on the road. Right, you ready for it? We're going out for a drive. Um, just got to manoeuvre out of my drive, which is always uh, fun. It's very tight lately getting an out of But even just driving out here, the shifts feel, feel great. I feel fast just in the lane. Right, just get my seatbelt on. When I give you my feedback on how it feels now, I don't... I don't want everyone to think, oh, this is just some sponsored spouting rubbish, saying it's brilliant. <coughs> if it's not brilliant, <coughs> I'll be honest with you, it's not a sponsored video. I paid for the shifter. So I'll always give you my honest review, uh, my honest opinion. If something ain't very good, I won't pretend to you that it's good. So there you are, get out of the way. We'll go for a drive now. I guess I'm eating into the car and see how it feels. Oh, I love this car. <laughs> I haven't driven it for a while. I, I don't drive it that often. And, uh, and now all I'm driving around really is a van. So this feels like an absolute.
Bobo. Feels like you're just not going to miss a shift. Feels really good. I was kind of concerned with this, is how would the shifts really feel? Would they feel a bit too clunky? Would it be easy to miss the gears? But it just feels like they just go in sweet. It is really perfect. I'm not just telling you that, just to follow up to try and get you to buy them, um, but I am really happy with that.